All right, everybody, one more thing about this problem before we move on. Okay, so the big idea was least common multiple. The strategy that we used was make a list. However, you've got to watch out for distractors and a multiple choice uh, scenario where you've got a multiple choice question. A lot of times there's a distractor. So in this problem, the multiple choice said the answer is either 5, 12, or 24. So find out which one of these is the distractor. Actually, there could be two, but there, I think there's one main distractor. So let's say you're thinking about this problem and you're going, I'm going to make a list. All right. The list for the first light, 4, 8, 12, and so on. Okay, a uh, list for the second light, it'll blink at 6, it'll blink at 12, and so on. And you might look and go, wait a minute, I found it. They both blink at 12. And 12 is the least common multiple. So you might be thinking, I got it. The answer is 12. So a distractor is an answer that is not right but it's made to look like maybe it's a trap that was set for you. So maybe you would think it was right, even though it's not right. So oftentimes if there's multiple choice, you wanna see if there's a distractor and try to pick out the distractor and don't fall for that trap. So even though we do wanna make a list and we do wanna find common multiples like 12, the answer is not the least common multiple because the question was, how often are they going to blink at the same time? So again, we needed to create that list to go longer to find out they don't blink 12 times uh, at the same time, even though they bl both blink at 12 seconds. So 12 seconds is the first time they're gonna blink together. But again, that was not the question that was asked. So 12 is the distractor. Watch out for distractors and other multiple choice problems as well.